So I know I had said I probably wasn't going to get around to broadhead tuning and getting my stuff ready for archery season, but archery season in Florida actually doesn't start for another couple days, and I have to at least try. So I have my arrow spinning here and I have the broadheads I'm going to use, and we're using these Magnus Stingers. Now I've, I don't want to say I've used, but last year I tried to tune these muzzy chokars, but since I decided to move towards two blade fix. Now I know these aren't like cutthroats or anything and I'm planning on shooting cutthroats next year, maybe even an iron will, but um, this is what I have for now. So I've kind of built my arrows around these and I need to find the straightest arrows before we move forth. So arrow spinner. It's like me wreck the set. Now the one thing that's a little weird is I have three different fletchings. I have these silent knights, I have blazers with a vein, or with a wrap, and I also have blazers without a wrap. And this is part of me trying to figure out which veins actually work best, but then get around to it. So I'm probably gonna shoot either the silent knights or the blazers, but uh, we'll see which one's straight. Now these are out of the sharp box, out of the, out of the sharp box, out of the box sharp, so they're not incredibly sharp. You can see the blade is not the smoothest, but this will work for tuning. So one of the things about dealing with broadheads at first actually is the fact that it's a little terrifying. I mean, we want these things razor sharp, and this is the pointy end, as Aria would say. I mean, you drop this, it's, it's gonna do some damage. This little thing all the damage and don't have collars which is something i plan on doing for next year but for now just got to get something done so that actually looks decent got a little wobble it's so one thing i've already can do is put a piece of wood I don't really know how it's supposed to work, but. I don't know if it's straight. It's like it looks like maybe the back has a little bit of a. Mm, I think this is good. So I'm gonna set number three as size as possible. Move on to the next one. So these are gold tip and the pros. Hundred pros, so they should be pretty straight. This one looks like it's good too. Number two. This one definitely has some wobble to it. Error so slightly in the tip. So this one, instead of bending it and getting the shape, I'm just gonna set it aside. Now you can probably straighten some of these arrows, but uh, I'm not too interested in doing that, nor do I really know how. I'm not planning on taking a long shot, so 30 yards max, I'll be fine with that. So the arrows are picked now, I gotta actually go shoot them, so I'm gonna need this thing. Try again. And welcome to Florida, where it starts to rain at any point in time. It's a bit wet. Boots. Let's try this again. Although it looks like it's probably gonna rain again. Let's 
So the one thing I want to like do first is make sure that my side tip is good, which it should be because I did it two days ago. But considering how potentially bad of an archer I am, I want to make sure these arrows are on point before I start flinging broadheads down and potentially ruin other arrows. And it looks like it's going to rain again. Florida. Yeah, it's good enough. Homegrown bow stand. And I want to use the same arrow, so I'm going to go fetch it. So that's about an inch left of where I was aiming. So that should be good. I'm actually a little concerned that my broadhead's going to go through this target. But uh, that is not good. All right. Let's get this puppy set up. Seems a little high. Let's shoot this next one and see. It's also a nice strong wind at the moment. So I think that's actually really close. I think that's a result of the bear shaft to me and spine indexing and all that sort of stuff. And uh, at least, the, the, yeah, this is pretty dang good. Here's the broadhead, and that's the field point. You can see it kind of came out the back. That's, I'm actually really pleased with that. Surprised this thing held it too. But, uh, all right. That's gonna rain. So arrow number two, I think is good. Um, like I said, it's gonna rain again, so this is not to happen again later, tomorrow. Welcome to Florida. It rains every day. Great for fishing, horrible for hunting. Da, 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 da. You can see how much darker it's gotten. Up to category threes, we don't even blink an eye. Cat four is in a hurricane is when we start to actually start thinking about evacuating. It's kind of like, ah, is that kind of serious? Especially if you're by the flood or by the seaside. Everything else, 